Hey there everyone, this is Dropship Dude, and I'm going to be showing you today how to get the Bandana Skull on Halo CE Anniversary. Now I'm going to use it to help me actually get to this position, because I'm doing it on Heroic, because I am fearless. Um, the Skull has been giving a lot of people trouble, because there are a lot of guides out there saying you need to do a grenade jump, you need to whatever, maybe get a co-op partner, get him to jump on your head so that he can go up and get it and then swap places, or whatever. But um, there is an easy way to do it. Uh, it does take a couple of tries, but it's a lot easier than trying to do a single grenade jump. And sometimes it's even easier than using a partner. Um, in fact, it can even assist you if you have already got a partner. The uh, this video is also going to show you one terminal location and island. how to get the, the achievement for uh, storming the beachhead without losing any marine on the uh, heroic or higher. So. I'm just going to walk you through the uh, heroic or higher achievement for um, Marines dying. You want to take out the couple of grunts on the left hand side after you uh, deploy from the Pelican before you do anything else really. Because you can uh, grab one of their plasma pistols to take out the elites. Uh, I'll just pick up these guys as well because they were peppering my shields a little bit. Now you want to grab a plasma pistol, not a needle, and uh, start peppering that guy's shields before he takes out any of the marines. Once he's down, just push forward before your marines do, and again, pepper his shields, try and take him out. Now I take a little while to kill him, but luckily I've peppered his shields enough for him to not pose any threat. The next section where, our, uh, where there are jackals and this elite major ultra, I'm not quite sure which ones they are, I can't remember. Uh, this is a little bit trickier, so you want to again pepper the shields or overcharge the shields and then take out one of the elite. Now the marines will push forwards very quickly so you need to push up with them as well and try and make sure that that elite doesn't pose any threat to Mr. Melee there. But, um, now you just finish him off quickly and uh, if no marines have died by this point then you'll get an achievement. If not, before that checkpoint pops you want to quickly revert to last save and you should be able to try it again. If not, just restart the level, you'll be alright. Now, uh, the Pelican comes over here to drop off the Warthog. I'll just quickly pop it into the old graphics so you guys can have a look. Even with the old graphics on, it does look a lot cleaner uh, because Raven seems to have actually made the graphics uh, into HD even though they are the old graphics. So it's a lot cleaner to look at on a HD TV. Now I'm going to fast forward this because I actually take the wrong turn and really the quickest way of doing it is to quickly pull a 180 and head the other way around the island because you don't want to head for the map room first, you want to head for the security room. So that's the map room there where I've just gone past but I realised my mistake so I've quickly floored it to the other side. Now you want to take out these enemies as quick as you can, it doesn't really matter really to be fair but the quicker the better because this can be quite a lengthy process, especially on heroic or higher. Once you've taken these guys out, don't worry if your uh, marine allies have died or anything like that, but uh, just quickly push forward and uh, take out these enemies up this ridge. Now remember I'm using the bandana skull so I can throw grenades to my heart's content, as I'm going to demonstrate with these uh, hunters. So there's one, two, three, four... <laughs> I don't think I throw many grenades to be fair, but I do later. Right, there's a terminal just there which I shot at really briefly, and I would slow the video down, but... I'm, I'm lazy like that. So again, take out this group of enemies, back up if you need any health because there's an overshield, or two rather, if you didn't use them during the hunter fight. And then come around here. Now this is the location of the skull, it's actually deep down once you get to the map room. And as you just quickly saw there, there was some uh, overshields, so if you need those, if you need one rather to take out these hunters, then by all means go for it. But don't use any more than one and you'll see why in a moment. Right now, if you actually did that, did pop up back here, you'll notice that there's no warhog or down pelican down there like there is in a moment. And also to get the skull, you have to trigger the uh, cartographer's security key. So once you've done that, the, uh, you'll get this little cutscene here, and the skull will actually now spawn. It wouldn't be there beforehand. Now, yes, I did just cut this video because I, I did die once trying to fight these elites because they are actually quite hard to see. And uh, as you can see, I don't have much health. In fact, I've only got one bar. So I just quickly finished these guys off with a few frags and some pistol ammo. They are a little bit easier to spot in the original graphics. Um, in the new graphics, they are practically invisible on some TVs. 
but there is a little blue dot running around by them but it's hard to tell whether that's on their left or right uh, because sometimes they're facing away from you. Now this room looks quite challenging to get uh, a vehicle through as uh, you'd imagine but uh, it is possible and I've kind of given away the, the hint here. What you have to do is you have to jump down there and grab this warthog as you can see there. There's some ammo and health down there as well if you need it so that's fine. Now I haven't used one of these yet so there's two just in case I do cock up and do anything wrong. You want to grab this one because you won't survive the fall unless you use it. And then you want to jump down here and try and aim for this rock because that will cushion your fall a little bit. Stops you from taking the full amount of damage. Now as you see I've only got one little uh, tiny speck of overshields left so definitely needed. Then you grab this warthog and you take it back around to where you actually uh, ditch the first warthog. You could technically do it uh, all in one go with the warthog. You could actually force up here while there are enemies, but I wouldn't advise doing that on heroic, so that's why it took a little bit longer. Right, you, uh, this tree here, you have to get past it on the left hand side. The right hand side, for some reason, doesn't work. I think it's not wide enough. And this can be done in new or old graphics, so don't worry about it. As you'll see, that uh, you just quickly give it a little bit of a squirm with the camera so that it slides its way through and uh, you should be able to squeeze it through. In fact you can squeeze it through but it might take a couple of tries. It uh, doesn't matter if you flip the vehicle obviously because you can just flip it back over. Now when you're going up through here you want to try and take the wider routes around the rocks because sometimes it is possible to get stuck and it can be quite a pain trying to dislodge it. So I go through here and there's a rock up here just behind this tree, uh, that tree there, that rock there rather. You have to take it on the left hand side because if you try and take it on the right you will likely get stuck and it is a very big pain to try and get the warthog out. As you can see you can barely get through on the left hand side anyway. And uh, like I said there are some jackals here now and uh, there's a spirit dropship that has dropped those off so you want to try and get out of there as quick as you can. They will not pursue you so do not worry about them. Uh, my expert, uh, expert driving skills there managed to crash into a rock that I couldn't see. And uh, you just want to squeeze it through the gaps and just take it nice and steady through here because there is a cliff face on the other side and that will uh, irritate you a little bit if you do fall off. So again, nice and slow through here. And then just swing it around and take it into the chambers. Now this next part requires uh, a little bit of precision. Well, not much to be fair. Uh, this bit here is really easy and I don't know why I made a hash of it, but I did. You just have to squeeze it through here as well. Now these barriers you can actually get it past them and it doesn't look like you can but if you just back it up a little bit and try and get this angle on it so that you're pretty much one wheel width away from the edge of it then just keep pushing forwards you will actually bounce back and bounce forwards on top of it uh, as you just saw demonstrate there. Now that's not the last thing that's in your way to try and get the warthog through. There's also these little narrow bits here which they are wide enough so don't worry about it you can actually take it quite fast through there. Uh, but it's this bit here. Now the warthog is about six or seven feet wide. This door is about five feet wide, so technically it shouldn't fit. But if you give it a little wiggle on the camera, it actually does. If it gets stuck like this, just move it to the right and then move it back to the left and you'll actually manage to wiggle your way out again. Now you don't want to actually go to the lower right hand side because if you try and get out of the driver's seat, you'll actually fall off the edge. So what you do is you back it up, and I mean this, you have to reverse it. Uh, into the other doorway and then give it a, like you did last time just give it a little sway to the side so that it actually uh, gets through and that's as far as you want to take it you don't want to try and get any further out than that because that's all you need now the skull is actually located up there um, I didn't mean to do that I actually meant to reload but obviously it's press X rather than hold X so you do sometimes end up doing that now I made the foolish mistake of actually missing the overshields so if you're watching this and you've just done the same, then I apologise for a nice little walk back up to the top. Uh, but luckily there are no enemies and there won't be any enemies either. So from here on out it's plain sailing. It's just a matter of trying to get the grenade jumps uh, sorted out on the warthog. So you get a checkpoint as well, which just makes it a little bit easier. If you just grab one of those, you've still got two left hopefully. Or this could possibly be your last one, but to be fair, if you cock up this jump and you don't actually manage it, you can just revert to the last checkpoint, or chances are you'll just fall off and die anyway, so that will revert it for you. Now you do get another checkpoint as you're coming through, see that I've got one there, so it's not as long and drawn out as you'd imagine. The screen did just go dark then, because I have actually failed three or four times before I actually got this clip right, uh, and I've just managed to cut it out for your convenience. 
This time I do actually get it right and it doesn't look like I will. So you want to jump up here and drop a grenade just here on the Warthog. It doesn't really matter as long as it's there roughly. Then jump and crouch and you'll actually manage to get up. Don't worry about the melee, that was just my little flare at the end. Now sometimes it won't look like you're actually going to make it, but trust me, you will. If you get enough height on it, you will. Uh, there is where the skull spawns, so just walk over to it, stand on top of it and you'll get the bandana skull unlocked. Now I'm going to quickly show you in the original graphics, so you can see it is actually a little bit lower, as you can just about see. It's quite dark, quite hard to see, even with the flashlight on. So again, you have to do this on new graphics anyway, because there's a skull there, but uh, it is a lot easier to see in the new graphics. So, yeah, there we go. Uh, so yeah, that's where the bandana skull is. That gives you unlimited ammo for both your weapons and your grenades. So <clears throat> it is quite a handy skull to have, especially if you're trying to do this on legendary and you can't quite do it normally. Now I failed that jump a little bit miserably, but uh, there we go. So uh, yeah, that's the guide on how to get the skull a little bit easier than sometimes would uh, be imagined. And I hope that this has been a little bit helpful for you. I know it helped me, so cheers and stay tuned for more videos.